Jen, 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 come to the room real quick, please. I'm going to go on the video and look at it. Where's Jen? Please call her. Thank you. Quickly, please. Quickly. Quickly. Oh, God. You guys, I'm so excited to be back. Shout out to Amazon Music for having me. Um, I feel blessed and highly. Hi, how are you? I want you to stay in my home. I want to ask them some questions just for the fans so that they can know exactly how to find me. You know, connect to everything. Uh, can you connect my Wi Fi first, please? Thank you. Um, y'all, I've missed you guys so much. Can someone bring my baby oil gel and my moi and my lotion and moisten my toes and moisten my fingers? I'm cold. Um, is anyone out there? that can come over here and just, my, and yeah. Oh, is it in there, babe? See if it's in there. Okay, she's getting my Wi-Fi ready, because I want to go live first, because I have some things that I want to say when live first, and I want Jen. But while I was on my way here, DJ Boo, why do you always play the same? Like, you know I don't like I get crazy. You know I don't want you to play no daggone and kill the DJ. <laughs> I wanted you to be straight up. I mean, you know, I, some sleesh. <laughs> okay, you know, uh, you know, no, I, I'm just always in the club, so I'm just thinking of club songs and yeah. You but know, you know, today is more it's about, a special day. Today is more about. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish the fuck you would. I wish the fuck you would. I wish the fuck you would. Oh, man. Let's go. Thank you, baby. Put a little bit of this on me. On me, please, babe. Just a little bit while she's getting the Wi-Fi. Barb's once again is the reigning motherfucking champs of the fan bases. These fan bases is sucking the Barb's dicks, quizzing assholes. <laughs> The boogeyman. <laughs> my toes. Man, I feel I'm told them right sin. Yeah. Cause I gotta go see Anaya and Anaya can't let me can't can't see see Auntie with no crusty <laughs> But yeah, so you know, I'm I'm waiting. I'm about to go on live. Y'all gotta, I, you know, I'm feeling real nice. You know, me just feeling real good. You feeling good? Don't say, don't speak that. Don't say nothing. <laughs> she knows me so well. <laughs> go and check out your blood clot. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Let me see something. Oh, where's my, my, should, I, should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Tell him hi for me. But I wish you would have. I love that song. Oh, we reminisce, reminisce, baby. Hey, hey. Do, 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 do. Can you play that low when I'm, while I'm talking? I'm about to go on live. Tell him hi for me. No me reminisce, no me reminisce, reminisce, baby. Oh, they're going to say, why you got on a filter? They don't want me to wear a filter today, I know they don't. Bitch, because I fucking want to. Do I come at your house and tell y'all what the fuck to do? No. All I tell y'all to do is go in school, go to school, get your degrees, get your bachelor's, get your master's. What is all of this static in my ear? Let me tell y'all something. 
if y'all don't get this static in my static out of my ear, I'm gonna cancel the show immediately. Cause now I see why my fans were saying why it sound like they on a cell phone. Why do I have static in my ear? And Jen, Mama, please come here so we can explain. Cause I'm about to go on live for a second. I just want you to tell everyone, like depending on like what phone they have or where they live, when it'll be available, and how to access it right now. Mama, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Why is all it? If this static is still here in 10 minutes, I'm canceling Queen Radio. And I'm letting it be known right the fuck now. Because what I have to say is. <laughs> On a top, on a top, me did done. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, my babies. I love you too. I love you too. Lip Mirage, don't tell me I ain't canceling no show. Haitian Ho, what's good? Have you on it? What the fuck is good? That's why I like that. I can't adjust. I can't adjust this um, this um, phone thing, y'all. I wanted to show you my pants and my booty and my waist. Oh, Jade. Hi, Casper. Y'all, I am on my first um, Queen Radio 2023. I'm simply coming on here. Wait, is that really NBA young boy? I never know when it's really him. Is it y'all? I don't know. If it's, it's yeah, if it's young boy, you better call. You you better um call in. Um, so you guys, first I want to say I love you. Um, but you know what? I just realized I'm not gonna be Joe Joe. Jen, come, come, please, and tell everyone how to, um, how to, um, how to, how to join, please, on AMP, because I'm not staying on here. I'm only staying here for a couple minutes to let everybody on Instagram know how to join my show on AMP. So let them know, please, Mama. Okay. All right. Do you got and and the last and I think the last thing I posted had the link to my exact page, so you guys should have a page on the app so that y'all can listen directly. Because I'm not, I can't, I can't do do the whole show on here anyway. So who else is on here? Hi, Nivia. Um. So do you? So you guys, again, I'm gonna have to come off of this, but we have a lot of motherfucking. <laughs> oh, no static. Hmm, much better. Um. Um. Okay. So the so we do not have any more uh, static. Hi, Patrice. Um. Okay, so all right, you guys. The last post on my Insta story um 
Well, I already got lipstick on the mic. Pause. <laughs> um. Well, actually, hi, Patrice. Um, I actually has the exact link on how to just on how to just get right on here on on the on the show that we're on right now. Yes, shout out to Big B's Courtney Revolution. I see you. So you guys, we're gonna have to finish up here. But what I wanted to say is that wait, yo, play, 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 start, start, start the ting ting real quick. One time, one time. We have we gotta we gotta we gotta <laughs> I have a huge announcement to make, actually. Hi, Ivorian doll. I have a huge announcement to make, but mm, thinking if I should. Mm, yeah, hey, Shanho, we let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, I love you, Bobs. You know what to do. Meet me on the app right now, and I'm going to read your tweets. Oh, I what I was trying to do on here is I was trying to say thank you to all of the publications that said such great things about um, Red Will Be the Sleeves. But I don't know if I, if I, if I click off of it, if I'll be able to, because it's in my text. Joe sent it in my text. So I'm not going to be able to do it. But you guys, I love you dearly. Joy, come on the app. Because it's going to be a very fun show, though. Come on the app. Um, We're going to have, you know, we're taping it. So you'll you'll be able to see visuals after. But come on the app now. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you to all the publications, though. New York Times, Rolling Stone, like... I, I, double XL, like I can't remember all of them, but I that I actually just wanted to come on here to thank the publications that that showed me so so much love. Shout out to the UK Bob Chess, I see, and thank you. We went uh, number one on iTunes yesterday in about an hour, an hour and a half. <laughs> the bars, the bars don't play. Okay, I'll see y'all on the app. Bye. I don't really want to share this though. Just end it, right? How do you discard it? Okay. Okay. Here we are. Um, so so you guys let me first start by doing what I wanted to do, which is saying thank you to all the publications that gave us so much love. Um, oh God, this is very tiny. New York Times, calm, arrogance is Nicki Minaj's gift. There's no need to decipher all her illusions because her delivery and production say it all. The track of Red Will Be the Sleaze, based on Lumi D's Never Leave You, juggles near flamenco ha hand claps, trap drums, and choral vocals going, uh-oh. Her percussive rhymes are competitive in every realm. Linguistic, sexual, financial, culinary, guacamole with the taco. And their utter confidence is still convincing. Thank you, New York Times. Rolling Stone, Nicki Minaj is holding nothing back with her first new song of 2023. The track finds Minaj in classic form, spitting and singing while navigating beat switches with the ease. Thank you, Rolling Stone. Nicki Minaj made her triumphant return to the throne, dropping the new single, Red Will Be the Sleaze. Thank you, Entertainment Tonight. Nicki unleashes a crazy flow that is reminiscent of her mixtape era. Thank you, Complex. Nicki proves that she still has the juice. Girl, child, put... <laughs> Pussy <laughs> social goodbye. Uh, Nicki Minaj often seems to work best when she's feeling slighted, and that is absolutely the case here. Stereo gum. Did I feel slighted, or or am I just in a great fucking mood? And when I'm in a great mood, I I just you know, <clears throat> I guess I'm 
old Nikki, right? Um, but Nikki can really rap and can really, really rap. Thank you, staring on. She goes off on this thing, moving in and out of patois and the beat from producers Go Grizzly, Cheese Beats, and Tate Cobain is hard and pop at the same time. V Magazine, if Miss Minaj has pink hair on her cover art, there is a 10 out of 10 chance of her absolutely shredding with her newest release as strong evidence. Thank you, V Magazine. Nicki Minaj blesses us with her first official drop of the year, titled Red Ruby the Sleeve. The booming cut borrows from Lumi D's turn of the century classic, Never Leave You, and is full of the boastful bars that the Young Money alum is known for. Thank you, Revolt. Nicki goes hard on her first single of 2023. Thank you, Genius. Nicki Minaj releases powerful new single. Thank you, Hype Beast. Um... Minaj is back in full force, switching up tempos and dropping punchline after punchline with ease. Thank you, American songwriter. In true fashion, she brings confident lyricism and percussive bars over a production sampling Lumi D's Never Leave You. Thank you, Hot 97. Once again, Nikki proved that she deserved her spot as the greatest female rapper of all time on Billboard and Vibes Viral List. Thank you, Hot New Hip Hop. And oh, I didn't even get to say thank you about that, Billboard and Vibe. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Minaj has shown that she's not done adding to her legacy yet. Thank you, Hot New Hip Hop. Over Cheese Beats and Go Grizzlies production, Onika drops an abundance of her bars aimed at her competitors and haters. Okay, Rap Radar. I didn't say this was aimed at nobody, Jail. It features Onika effortlessly delivering her punchline flow while reminding people that she can make a hook out of thin air. Thank you, Basif. So that's what I wanted to start by saying because I think it's so important that <clears throat> with all my shenanigans, I mean, my fans know I'll be joking, but some people actually think that, like, I actually am like this crate like a cocky person in real life when actually I'm um I'm not um so now you guys I'm looking at Twitter um At the Prince Lee said, slide it. What the fuck are they talking about? Slide it by who? Nobody moves the queen. Stop it. Ja, ja. Okay. And of course, I have to say uh, to the barbs, thank you for holding me down. Um, oh, yes. We do have digital singles on the website now. Um, I was really releasing this song as just like, you know, like a little street, like a little, you know, just like a little, like almost like a freestyle type of vibe. Mm -hmm. And then when, but then every time people heard it, they said, oh, you bugging if you don't shoot a video to it. So I don't know. So we have a special guest in the building right now. Her name is Ra Ali. <laughs> And um, so, <clears throat> do you have any questions for me? Yeah. Okay, well, well, let's go. What questions do you have for me? Everybody always wants to know the energy when you're in the studio. Mm -hmm. They envision it Yeah. as a real lyricist. What is that like? Do you like it quiet? Do you like things going on around you? Like, paint, that pic paint the picture for us, please. Yeah, um, that's a great question. Well, I do not like a lot of people there. I mean, it depends. Sometimes we could catch a vibe and I'll do like the, the, a mumble flow. But when it's time to actually write, I like to be very 
like it peaceful and calm. And so I don't like people around. I just like to, and then, but the craziest thing is that most of the times, if I'm stuck on a bar and I just go and lay down and like forget about it, all of a sudden the craziest bar comes to me. So, you know, it's just that thing about um, certain things shouldn't feel like work. And this mm-hmm. is one of those jobs. As, as, as long as it feels, as soon as it starts feeling like work, then um, the passion is gone and the that excitement is gone. So you got to regroup mm-hmm. again. Um, so I don't like writing the raps down no more. Like it's so annoying to me. Mm-hmm. So I, a lot of times I try to... Um, I try to just do a little voice note here and there. Uh, And then I'll try to write it down or ask somebody just write it down all for me because my handwriting has gotten so horrible. I used to actually have good good handwriting in school, but now it's like, oh my God. Like, does anybody else experience that? Like, I cannot stand writing any, like writing on a paper. Ruby went stupid. Just had to get that out. It's really crazy. Well, the thing is, well, Booth, what did you think when you heard that Mm. record? (laughs) Amazing. It brought me back to a time where I heard that sample. Shout out to Ted Smooth. Shout out to Ted Ted Smooth. Smooth. Um, Felt like party. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, with the the punchline, the bars, man. I mean, you know, for for me, that's what I like to hear. Mm -hmm. That's what I need. It's a need, not a want. So, yeah. you know, that's I only expect that from her. Only. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I. I don't know, like, what made me have that approach to it either. Right. Like, you out know, of all <laughs> records, out of all sounds, yeah. like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but shout out Tate Cobain and Tate is in the building, and we're gonna get into some of his music too. Um, my nigga Patty Duke is in the building. My nigga Rico Dan is in the building. London Hill is in the building. <laughs> my baby Nana Fofi's in the building. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I, I have a big announcement. And um, I'm working on something that I think is going to make y'all cackle. <laughs> but for now, I got to keep it as a surprise. What's crazy is that the... A lot of the YouTubers, Ra, and a lot of these people that um, hit me, mm-hmm. they've now adopted my Queen Radio persona. I thought I noticed it. Yeah. It's strange. Yeah. Like, I, like imagine uh, men, men, grown-ass mm-hmm. men, women too, mm-hmm. but imagine grown-ass men who, you know, they used to be the biggest barbs, mm-hmm. right? All mm-hmm. of them were barbs first. And... Um, and since I started doing Queen, Queen Radio, mm-hmm. well, you know, once Queen Radio started, everybody got a... A show. Um, <laughs> <sighs> they so lucky that we don't, you know, we don't do a visual show yet. Because y'all know my face expressions are alone. Been <laughs> <laughs> but... I've noticed they've adopted my lingo, mm-hmm. my persona, phrases. my persona, my phrases, mm-hmm. voice changes, voice sh- like the person persona, the bombs. Like, oh my! Don't make me oh have my to god! Make- <laughs> my sons are on my dick and my ball. <laughs> but um, so you know that's why I knew I had to get back in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And let motherfuckers know it's only one O. And I'm the real ho, yo. (laughs) (laughs) So my thing is this. Could you imagine loving someone so much that you begin begin to hate them because you can't get as close to them as possible, right? Mm -hmm. But then you begin to transform into them. Mm-hmm. Like is that is that inside? Like what what we need to figure out the exact word for it because y'all know I love words. Mm-hmm. Um, I love words. You know what I'm saying? Um, excuse me. Yeah, I gotta put my little chair up. And um, and it's funny 
it's comical. Sometimes we look and just a little laugh. <laughs> I'm happy that I was able to bring a whole new wave mm -hmm. into the universe. Still trendsetting? Oh, that, that will mm -hmm. never stop. Mm -hmm. Oh, that will never stop. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, um, so what I want to do first is, um, let's maybe, let's maybe get into play. A, did you, what, 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 where did we say we were going to start today, Booth? Um, we did some throwbacks, some classics. All right, play Rev will be one time. Play Rev will be one time, so I could uh, speak to my my Twitter bobs real quick. Then I'm going to go on an app and talk to them real quick. <laughs> well, first of all, um, uh, one of the surprises I was going to talk to y'all about today. Um, I don't know if I want to discuss it. But let's just say the queen has been queening. Shout out to Republic Records. They know they don't want Onika Tanya Mirage Petty going any fucking where. Right, Wendy? Right, Rappo? Right, uh, Avery? Right, uh, Monty? That's what the fuck I thought. Right, Josh? <laughs> um, I'm actually proud to say that I love my label, just like how I love Wheezy and Baby and Wool and Slim and Drizzy and you know, I'm actually you know, but there's a there's a big announcement coming. But I want I might want to wait. But so, <laughs> Wendy texted me. <laughs> Wendy texted me. She probably was like, "This bitch better not say nothing that's stupid." I love you too. I love you so much, Wendy. Oh, and and I wanted to sh thank you. Shout out, uh, shout out, Melissa Rutterman. Um. She was at, and by the way, Billboard did ask me, not this year, but the year before, to be at the, the women's uh, thing that they do, and I, and I declined because I wasn't in mode. Um, you know, we want to make sure we're in mode and, and everything is whatever, whatever. But, uh, ooh, Wendy's telling me to announce it. I'm not going to announce the name. Well, I have a I, I have a record label now. Whoa! And 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 because I believe so strongly in loyalty, and because I've spent my whole life giving to others that turn around and shit on me. Um. Patty Duke is the first A and R oh. on my label. Oh my God. Patty, what's good? You already know that. How, man. how the fuck it feel to be the first la signed A and R to the Queen label and shit? Man, you already know, man. We already do this, man. Like, be a minute. This ain't even no new shit, man. Like, I've been knowing this girl for a minute. Like, man, it's just natural, man. It's organic to be next to her, man. And it's dope. And we're going to be lit for 2023. Every year. Uh, yo, we... And every year. Uh, that's right. We thugging, all, we thugging all 23. Shout out to Thugger. But, um, um, and Patty Duke has known me since I probably was like maybe 10, 11. And... No, man, it's been a minute. And he was like, oh... and. He was gone with my no, my. No. Shut, shut up! No, All right, no. he don't want me to. <laughs> All right, he was gone with somebody, and, and they was like, "Oh, my friend rap," and he was like, "Oh, you rap, shorty?" And I was a little kid. I was like, "Yeah," and I got a rap. Cookies, the name chocolate chip is the flavor. Suck up my salad, <laughs> and turn And he was like, "Nah, I'm gonna write you a rap, shorty." And I was like, "What? Yeah, oh yeah, look, write me a rap, please, Mister." <laughs> 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 nah, like, you know, because at the at the time, and um, I call I call him I call him. So if you hear me calling him Biggs, it's because that's what we yeah. you know I grew up calling him. But um, and shout out shout out, but shout out your hood Biggs. West Side Merrick one two seven. Yo, man, the whole West Side. Man, yeah, one two seven. So American Lindy, man. 
Wow, like shout out my tower niggas too. Wow, R.I.P. Face, man. R.I.P. Face, man. Shout out the crazy one. What's the crazy man? No. Yo, shout out my nigga Looch, man. <laughs> yo, Luch, my nigga Luch, yo, Luch, man. come down here. I told I told Bigs to fire you out here, my nigga. Let's go. Yo, anyway, Luch, yeah, man. you know, um, I, I just respect loyalty and um and so Wendy told me to announce, you know, Wendy Wendy has was recently promoted um to president. <laughs> Wendy, I said, Wendy, we gotta do this big. I'm a female. You a female, mama. Like nobody, like you got you gotta do this right. We gotta do it right. I don't want no little big little itty bitty ting ting. I wanna do it right. Cause y'all know when I get behind an artist, y'all know when I how I do shit for people that's not even signed to me. Imagine what I'm gonna do for the ones that signed. When I came in this game, I didn't have no paperwork with Lil Wayne. But he but he had us on tour. He had us in the studio. He was getting on my mixtapes. So I understand. I understand the importance of somebody else doing the heavy lifting for you. Sometimes I understand the importance. I understand why people are coming out and they're so, you know, microwavable and they're here today and going tomorrow because there's no structure. There's no real person that believes in them. That's like, nah, I'm going to make it my business to see you shine mm -hmm. that's why i never wanted to do a label before because i said to myself and i said to everybody and you could ask anybody i said no everybody said do it do it do it. i said no i'm not ready because unless i'm ready to to really put these artists on mm -hmm. I, I i i'm not gonna ruin anyone's life i'm not gonna shelf i'm not gonna put signs of mine and shelf them and just have no i i can't i can't do that because i didn't i didn't come i'm not cut from that cloth mm -hmm. i had the best I had the best. I don't want to say sensei because you know he said uh, uh, Splinter was a rat. <laughs> okay. But uh, but yeah, but he you know I had the best sensei. I'm Nikki the Ninja. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah. So so now everybody was asking me who 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 was who was those extra background vocals in the hook. But wait, before we go that before we do that, Biggs, tell them your your. IG Lord Penny Lord underscore P N Y one two seven. So if you do music and you want to get with the winning tis name, you know who to hit. Just don't be Tridash. Are you going to Tridash? <laughs> <laughs> so everybody was asking me. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys the name of the label yet, right? But I'll tell you guys that on the next show. We'll do a next show pretty pretty soon. Um, and thank you, the piano at the piano guy. Congrats on your new record label. Thank you for trending Queen Radio. Um, shout out to uh well, I can't uh shout out to at Sleazy Mirage, building a whole empire the right way. Thank you, baby. And thank you guys for uh buzzing pop. Nicki Minaj announces on Queen Radio that she has her own label. This is history making a female rapper having her own label. Shout out to uh that who said that? Um Thank you, Mama. Uh, who said this? Why? Why I keep on? Oh, what's these nails? I can't take it. Thank you, Barbie Mira at Barbie Mira. Um. Okay, so everybody was asking, who are those vocals on the hook? And step up, step up a little bit closer so I can hear you. Yeah. So my nigga Tate Cobain. Yeah. Now, Tate. Remind them what record you you like your biggest record and where you're from first. Well, yeah, Northeast Baltimore, biggest record was Bank Rose. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, amazing. yeah. Mm -hmm. had, had, had you had shit really shook shook up with that. <sighs> um, um, Tate is one of the best hook writers of. The new, the new generation. Um, I almost didn't want to tell people that you know I was affiliated with him because I don't want that to affect you know his his business. But he's an artist, and he also like you know so so that's him on the hook. 
he wrote that hook. So let me give you stupid ass cunt hole bitches, dusty blood clot pussy all goddamn a lesson. Let me give you a lesson. Because I see people like mentioning my name. And you know what? I, I don't have any hatred, any anger, any nothing bad for anybody. I don't. When I sat back, I realized that it was a lack of knowledge because of the, the quickness of how people are getting, quote unquote, on, you know, now uh -huh. with, with TikTok. And then the, there's no, you know, so they don't even know what ghostwriting really means. They don't even know. So don't put me in your categories ever again. Refer to Vibe and Billboard if you want to know who is the best bitch forever. <laughs> Refer to that list, okay? Now, if you ask me, I don't know how Dwayne Carter ain't number one on that list. And y'all know I'm a big Jigga fan. But it would have been a toss-up with me, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? But to me, my, like, Patty, I don't, I don't know, man. Like my sensei, Little Wayne. Nah, Wayne, Wayne is still going like extra mm. hard. Like still. Yeah, they, they, they the two. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie, they the two. They the two. But, 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 right, right. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And they both have been huge inspirations to me in my rap. You know the way I rap. So you know, let me make sure I say that. But Tate, um. He and his team are responsible for a lot of things out there. But the thing is, when, when, when niggas give you bitch. Talk to him. <laughs> Talk to him. <laughs> when y'all see another writer next to the name Onika Tanya, when y'all see another writer on, on the credits next to my name, it's because they wrote a hook. A hook. Do you know what a hook means? It's a chorus, mm. a chorus. You know, like how me and Esther Dean uh, uh, co 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 collaborated on, on a chorus of super bass? Classes in session. Classes in session. Listen up, clean your motherfucking dirty, stinking pussy clock ears. <laughs> now, when, when these people send you your hooks, or sometimes it could have a, a hook and a, pre, a, a B hook, a bridge, a pre hook, or whatever that you might like, it's catchy different it's, that's different but people people know the difference between a verse and a hook it's almost as though people are starting to think that the whole world has gone dumb no boo boo oh well, every yeah to everybody gets no, well, you know, well, I didn't do that on, on my mixtapes and I didn't do that on Pink Friday. I, mm -hmm. I, I prefer to write my own hooks mm -hmm. because to me, especially for my first album and my mixtapes, I needed the people to hear only my heart, my, my truth, my voice. And that's why the Barb's connected to me and understood my story. Mm -hmm. So people who don't know those, al those tapes and, and albums, they don't know me really. They just go off of things they see, and I understand. You know, I've done I've done a couple couple clown things recently that I'm not so so proud of, and you know, um, I'll I'll never get off my throne again. Radio. I'll never get off my throne again. Um, but anyway, so Tate yes. provided me this amazing hook. And so I left him in the ad-libs. Listening back now, I think it's the ad-libs are a little too loud. You know how my perfectionist ass, I because I didn't know you did different ad-libs on each hook tape. It was perfect. No, it was perfect <laughs> on the first hook. And then I'm listening today and everyone's like, what the fuck is this motherfucker doing? So, um, but um, it's interesting when you have like all genuine people around you, people who know you, people that understand you, people that see past your flaws, how you, you know, how it lifts you high, you know? Shout out to my husband. 
He's seeing me at my lowest and always treats me as a queen, always speaks to me like a queen. Nobody will ever know the lows that this man has seen me through and 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 ha and, and just handles everything. And never never puts any pressure on me or blame or guilt or making me feel, you know, when I feel like, you know. And and because of that, today I'm so thankful and grateful and blessed. Um, Papa Bear is here too today, but he's jumping in the balloons and he got mad because I wanted to brush his hair. He started crying and he wanted to go back and jump in the balloon thing. So he's over there with daddy jumping <laughs> with, in the balloons, child. Um, but Tate, um, you see, when I start feeling nice, I keep, I, I'm slowing down, and we we don't got we don't got a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, we got y'all got y'all got to speed me up. Okay. Um. So Tate, yeah. Um. You are so talented, so versatile. Um, the first song I heard of you was almost like a crossover, mm. almost like a crossover pop song. Yes. So I'm like, oh, he's one of those. And then you started sending like rap stuff. I said, "Oh, he's one of those." You know what I'm saying? Like, remember, we, 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 well, I don't want to say anybody reminds me of anybody. Y'all know, and y'all know I love Lil Uzi, but he reminded he reminds me of a mixture of a little bit of Uzi and a little bit of someone else that I, like like just a, a hood of just a regular hood person from where he's from, but a little bit of Uzi sometimes. So, but let's get into the hood the hood shit that I want to play real quick from Tate. But wait, but Tate, tell them your IG real quick. Uh, take o one T A T E K O one, the butt naked stepper. The butt naked stepper. <laughs> yeah, that's what they call Why would anybody call you the butt naked stepper? A whole nother story. A whole nother show. <laughs> yeah, so, so, stepper. so the lesson to be learned here is verses and choruses are two different things. Very different. But see, with the queen, the queen can do both whenever she wants, whenever she chooses. You understand, Ra? Okay, Ra. Okay, Ra. Will that Ra Ra? Okay. Yes, darling. Let's play that. I'm coming right back, my baby. It's to shout y'all out. Let's go. Hey, yo. So, at Faze Alicia said, Thank you. That was Take Hold Bang. I like that. And he be doing that little dance that they be doing from. Yeah, he be doing that. So now we got, we got. Rico Dana is in the motherfucking building. Southside Jamaica motherfucker queen. Stand the fuck up. Rock away fucking Shout out to Bill. Shout out your projects. Mo made of bricks. I got a trap bloggers. We here. What's up? What's going on? Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been a long time coming. So Rico, we not gonna waste too much time. Just get into that yeah, yeah, real quick, boo for me. Do that real quick, please. I'm I, I, I gotta write my verse to this. I gotta write my verse to this because this shit's so no, fucking no, 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 hard. No, it's no, already no, no, no. video out to go on YouTube. Get me on your ass. No one jumping out them V's without no mask. Look, bro, get a fucking drill right out, out the cap. Yeah, yeah. Love yeah. that Don Julio, he almost smashed. Told him that I got the man and he got mad. I don't know. But yo, yo, bring them in, I'm on. Oh, okay. So, so we waiting on we waiting on a certain person to come in here because he got to talk his shit behind you, Rico. You already know. You already know his voice. He got he got to say something. He, yeah. Um. Um. I know the bars got it already. <laughs> Um, can you do me a favor while we wait? Can you can you play me a little crocodile teeth and say skilly bang thing? Did I tell you my name for player? Shout out to the Donna Toronto, Drake, Champion Poppy. Already know, boo. If Drizzy say get <laughs> Mm. Let's go. Yo, shout out to Skilly Bang. 
Um, so, I was trying to wait for Papa Bear to get in here, child, but I don't know what Papa doing. He got a mind of his own. He be thinking that he does what he wants, and we, 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 we bite basically got a. It's his world, and we just living in it. You understand? Oh, yo, I don't know. Okay, so, so do uh, play the play the stuff them one there real quick. All right. So look. Um, keep it on. Cut. Pause. Just get right into it, matter of fact, Booth. Just start with Malika Buju. You know what I mean? Oh, now, as soon as I told him, as soon as I told him, he got Bronx, BX in the building. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So that's where you up? Yeah. Okay. All right. You ready? To, you ready to uh punch a bitch in her mouth? I'm ready to make history. You know it's how. You know it's how it is. <laughs> it was about to really go down. I'm get in, sorry get, in, get, into, get into her next. Get into the next record. This, this, this is a different vibe because y'all y'all thought that's what she could do. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 no. Okay. <sighs> Tell them your IG, London. Make sure y'all follow me on IG, London Hill with three L's. I'm on every platform too. London Hill with three L's. And shout out to Fendi yes. because to I had heard the song and then I got distracted. I heard the song on Twitter one day and I got distracted and I never was able to find out, fi find the song yeah. again. And when uh, Fendi came over, t he, he visited LA, I said, yo, is this girl? And you know, she reminded me of Fox and da, da da da, and he just pulled up your page immediately. I nearly passed out. I said, "Ain't no way in hell, nigga. You, bro, you different." That's full circle moment. Um, yeah. So shout out to him and shout out to you. Um, you. as of right now, like New York, we known for bars. We known for spitting. Yes. We we like New York. Like, come on, like you know what I'm saying. We gotta. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, everybody's style is not like, is not the same. You know what I'm saying? And, and everybody don't have to have to rap the same and have the same style. Definitely not over here at my label. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have different styles of women and, and different styles of everything. But but this one right here, I love you. I you better watch you. your motherfucking mouth. Because <laughs> she, cause she, she, be, she be having it on deck real quick. Yo, get in, get into Red Ruby real quick while I uh, uh, get Nana Fofi in here. Get Nana Fofi in here real quick, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. We still on. We still on. We got my girl Nana Fofi repping. Pull it back. What you thought was the kind of singer I was gonna have on my label, bitch? Somebody I am sucking you know, and right. And I've been looking for Nana. Nana Fofi, N-A-N-A-F-O-M-I-E. I've been trying to be like I'm losing my mind on that. Sing it. Oh my God, you putting me on the spot. You've been singing. You've <laughs> oh, and it's effortless. It's effortless. So, Nana, tell us about really quickly where you were. Were you born in Ghana? No, I was born in Holland, small town Holland. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all probably only know Amsterdam, but it's really we know Holland, girl. I done toured the world three times. <laughs> yeah, you, but like most, most of the people don't know Holland when they say it. But yeah, Holland, Amsterdam, but I'm fully Ghanaian. I've been there more than I've been in Holland, basically. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. And I've been obsessed with you for a very long time. I know. Crazy <laughs> right. And um, I always promised you when I started my started, I would, you know, but I didn't want to. 
you know, lock you into anything. And if I, I wasn't ready to do what I needed to do with you, what I think you deserve, um, you have one of the most beautiful singing voices, the, one of those effortless, warm voices. And she goes back. Sometimes she sings a little bit in a different language, but for the most part, it's, it's funny. She's the one. I, I, and I ended up finding out about her because she was doing mashups on YouTube. And that's how I found, found out about DeVito. Cause I thought they were her songs. And then the Nigerians came in my comments and said, that's a veto. I said, oh, okay, Nigeria, Niger to the world. And DeVito and I ended up working and also rest in peace to DeVito's son. Sending lots of love over there to DeVito and, um, and his wife and his family and to Nigeria. Nigeria is very special to my heart. I have somebody in my life that um, is very close to me that, that's actually from Nigeria. So I love Nigeria. Um, but so Nana, do you have Odo? Is this one other song I want to play? And you guys know I've loved this song for a long time, but just listen to how beautiful it is. Thank you, Nana. It's it's a pleasure. We're gonna hear a lot lots more from you. Tell them your official IG. N A N A. All right. Thank you, Nana. Um Oh, nobody asked Papa to say nothing. Zoo Bang Gang is in the building. What's the good city? I'm feeling good, Zaddy. You looking good, too. But, but Papa, can we ever talk without you? <laughs> this boy think that he, like, is... Papa, no, no, no. Come. What's the vibes? What's the vibes? The fuck is going on? Boop is popping. What's going on with you? How you feeling, man? Shout out everybody. Yeah, you already know the vibes, man. We got keys here. We got Rico Dana here. You know right, 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 right. My wife here. Got um, Ra right here. You already know the vibes, man. What was going on? Outside, you know that shit. Man. Know that you know shit. Was going to bricks, man. Everybody on the bricks on the set right happy, now. Yeah, happy, what the fuck happy. is going on, man? What's up? What's, What's fuck up, full set. Yeah, man. Married the shooter, man. I know what the fuck is going on, man. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. We don't play like that. Niggas know what's going on. Rico, let these niggas know, man. What's, Yo, what's up? What's, what's up? What's up? Ewok, you, you know what's going on. Ewok, Ewok, to my heart. Stop. All the real right. All the real right ballers out there, man. Y'all know what the fuck the vibes. We hear you, right? That's a super fact, man. Yeah, man. Rico, yeah. what we about to play, do, we man? Play, yeah, yeah, yeah. Play, yeah, yeah. One more time. But if you got to sit down the piece, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yo, yo, we back, baby. Yo, y'all, I'm about to sign out. I want to thank you guys so much. I want to thank you guys so much for loving us and loving me. And, um, you know, I have a lot of, you know, musical surprises as well. This I just threw out, like, more like a freestyle. But then everybody said, you bugging, you need to shoot a video to this shit, man. So I don't know. We'll see. But um, but yeah, you know, merch for the for that movie, anything like that? It's coming. Okay. It's coming. We we were a little bit late on uh fi figuring that out because it was it, we wasn't treating treating it like a single. But then you know I said you know we might as well put a little couple things out. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna do another Queen Radio, probably um within seven days. <laughs> Papa, what is your deal? You don't have to yell at everybody. Nobody didn't do nothing to you. What are your deal? Um. So, so yeah, I'm gonna just say I'm gonna I'm gonna sign out. Um, you know, DJ Booth, we appreciate you. Thank you to everybody here. My producer Chevy is here, the one who did uh, Chun Li and uh, Bobby Tings. He's here as well. Um, he just gave me some fire as well. Um, and and it's so funny because the artists who are here today, who y'all heard, are not even the only artists. Don't don't think my label is just 
is just rap or black or anything. We got we got some different kind of <laughs> things going on. And um, you know, I just wanna say thank you. I want to say thank you to you guys for the continued support over the years. It means a lot to me. I mean, I know I joke around a lot. When I'm acting cocky, I'm joking. And if you don't know me, you don't you, you don't know that. But truly, I'm I'm very um I'm filled with gratitude. And um I love I love I love my Bob so much. Sometimes y'all don't even know like how y'all how y'all could, you know, really just get me back. You know, and um, and I always and I definitely got to shout out uh, Drake, who always know what to say to me at the right time. I got to shout out to Drake for that. Um, always, always know how to, you know what I'm saying? In in the yeah, 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 yeah. Papa, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's my boy. Papa, I said what I said. So, um. So, so thank you, Drake, for those for those tough conversations that that I need sometimes. My husband is very gentle with me, and um, but you know, um, but sometimes I need to hear the real deal. Like, yo, you know, I need to I need to be reminded. Like, yo, nah. Ain't no red shoes and big red nose over here. Like we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't doing those. And like I said, we have a lot of, we have a lot of. And like I said, we got some other genres of music, and the uh, and the label is not just for black artists. So I don't want y'all to think that. In fact, I have three other people who I'm so excited. For, I, I'm really excited about. I can't wait to be able to bring them to the next Queen Radio. Um, and let you hear them. But in the meantime, God bless you. God bless your families. May you have the best year of all time this year. May 2023 give you all the desires of your heart this year. I pray for your happiness, for your peace. I pray that you are welcoming new spaces and new places and no no one that, that uh, hinders your you're soaring. You know, the person, the people in your life have to be the wind beneath your wings. You you understand? And if and if they're not willing to be the wind beneath your wings, that means that they don't love you. So, so you know, when you love somebody, you push them to be their best. And that's why I always push my babies to stay their dumb ass in school. Now, I'm just saying, um, um, just, oh, and uh, Bobby Forster said, whoever engineered Red Ruby, uh, they deserve some props. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, they actually have. They actually have all of the people who, who was a part of it. But shout out to Juice, my engineer. He's been with me forever. I wouldn't trade him for a thing. Thank you, Juice. Like that man never complains. Sometimes we in there all night. Sometimes I, I'm waking up early in the morning asking him to come down. He's just the best. And you guys, if you can, y'all know Juice's in Instagram. Y'all go show him, show him some love for me. He's not here, but go show him some love for me, please. I appreciate him so, so, so much. And I appreciate you guys. But let me let y'all know this. This label right here. Oh, and I got I got a, I got a couple surprises. Y'all gonna be like, oh my God. <laughs> but, um... In the meantime, between time, watch your motherfucking mouth.